Hi, I'm John Carlos. You know, I've always wondered, out of these billions of users, how does Facebook know who to suggest to me as a friend? Let's find out. Let's say I have three users. If two users are friends, we'll draw a connection or edge between them. This bunch of dots and edges is a graph which we can represent with numbers and matrices. If two dots are connected, we'll put a one where the ray of one dot meets the column of the other dot. If two dots aren't connected, we'll put a zero. This is an adjacency or connectivity matrix, and all it says is how a graph is connected. We also have the edge matrix, and all it says is how many connections does a dot have. For instance, I have only one friend, so I'll put a 1 on my spot. If I combine these matrices with a calculator, I get the most important matrix of a graph, the Laplace. But what even are matrices? In space, we have vectors. These vectors make boxes. If we put a bunch of boxes together, we make a grid. A matrix transforms these boxes by telling us what vectors to use. This matrix says use the vectors 2, 0, so we'll move my blue vector to the point 2, 0, and 1, 2, so we'll move the other one to the point 1, 2. You see how this blue vector only got stretched and didn't rotate? This is an eigenvector, and how much it got stretched by is its eigenvalue. So let's go back to our Laplacian. Because it has three columns, we need three dimensions to see it. This Laplacian, just like any other matrix, will transform space. But if I just show you its eigenvectors, which do not rotate, you can see an ellipse-like section of space they draw. Spectral graph theory asks questions about this ellipse to determine graph behavior. What the fastest way from dot to dot is, how many pathways there are from dot to dot, etc, etc. You might wonder how a matrices and graphs even related. Say we're here on Earth, the graph planet. If I wanted to travel over to the planet of matrices and grids and vectors, I would be seen as an invader and they would execute me. However, if I use my super cool mass transformer and turn myself into an alien like Ben 10, I could go to matrix land without dying. Surprise! Whether I look like an alien or a human, I'm still the same person. I think and behave the same way. The same is true with graphs and their matrices. They both describe a network and whether it's seen as a graph or a matrix, the behavior of the network is still the same. Spectral graph theory uses matrices to observe the behavior of networks. That's what Facebook does to identify your next friend. They ask if there's a path, if so, they draw an edge. And any network uses the ellipse, be it the internet, your brain, anything.